Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardians Sudoku Puzzle. It's Monday the 13th of March 2023. I hope you are keeping well and that your Monday is moving along smoothly. Um, I um, am trying to persuade my cat to cut down on food uh, to help me out like as, as a kind of, uh, you know, a bit of a support, my, a bit of moral support there from my cat. I figure that if I eat a bit, I have to eat less because um, I'm snacking too much uh, since since COVID, really. I haven't managed to uh, cut down. I never used to snack, but I do snack a lot now. And since I'm getting older, um, unfortunately, it means I can't get my trousers on, uh, the trousers that I used to wear. And so I'm desperate to try and put back on the trousers that I could wear before. And so I'm trying to cut down on my food and I'm getting the cat to uh, join me. But we are equally as weak, I promise you. Uh, uh, I, there are times when I just think, oh, damn, I'll have a, I will have a snack. <laughs> I can't be bothered to stick to it. And uh, the cat is also hungry uh, at times when he shouldn't be hungry. He's had a lot of food, actually. And uh, just that now and he's meowing, meowing for yet more food when he doesn't really, he shouldn't really have it. He's overeating, but um, I've given in to him. Otherwise, he'd be meowing all the way through this particular game of Sudoku. Uh, what's happening in the US? I see uh, good news. Um, the uh, legal suit uh, for defamation against Fox News from Smartmatic is going forward. Uh, the one from Dominion is uh, the one that's really uh, um, mentioned a lot in the news, and that's for $1.6 billion. But Smartmatic also has a, a similar kind of case for $2.7 billion. Wouldn't it be wonderful if they both came true and, and the total amount was actually the full amount and Fox News was devastated? That would be lovely for America and for the world, in fact. The whole world would celebrate except for those idiots. Um, right, let's get on uh, with the game of Sudoku. I don't need to tell you how to play the game. I can see the first couple of things. that Both of them involve the digit 8. So I see 8's blocking down like this. That's going to give me an 8 there. What was the other 8 that I saw? Here it was. 8's blocking across here and up there, giving me an 8 like so. <clears throat> Oh, actually, there's one down here to get as well. Eights across here and down here. So we shall place an eight there. And we can continue with the eights up towards the top like that and get an eight there. Can we, can we, can we? Yes, we can. Eights across, eights across, and an eight up there. We'll put... Oh, that's the final eight. I didn't really... I thought there was one or, one or, one or two more to go, but no, we've got all of our eights. So that's a good start. Uh, one block out there. Anything else? Five, eight. No, we've got already. <clears throat> okay, we have two blocking across here and two down here. So that will put two into that square, obviously leaving us with twos over here. We also have twos down here like this. Excuse me. Uh, twos are there, twos are up here. Um, one, ah, one's okay, one's block up here, and fives block across here. So actually, we've got a pair of one and five here. So that's good, isn't it? So uh, knowing that's all five, it doesn't give me much, I think. We're well, knowing it's a one. Ones are there, ones, no, I don't know. But anyway, what goes in here? It's not one or five, it's got to be three or six. And we've got the six blocking across there, so there's our six, there's our three then. Let's have a look at this um, column here. Now, this four blocks this square here. Four's obviously down here, so fours are up there. So we're, we're, we're missing four and five. Okay, four and five block here. That puts four and five up there, and this will be the other number. The other number is a seven. 
Uh, and we know that 4 and 5 are up here. Let's see with the 4s. Anything useful? 5. <clears throat> ah, we've got ones blocking across in the bottom shoot here. Let's stick a one there. Uh, okay, nine blocks across here now, so that means nine is in one of those three squares. Let's go back leftwards with the nine down here, so that will give us a nine in that square. Okay, we don't have a six in this row yet. We've got six blocking down here and down here. There's a six. And we will be left with two, three. Ah, we... Ah. Oh, no. Okay, uh, this has to be two. Th okay, we've got two and three blocking this square, two and three blocking this square, right? So these two squares must be two, three. It must be two, three. That's two, three. This here can't be two, three. Um, shall we? So it could be a four. Well, it could be a seven as well. So it's not a unique rectangle. It's not going to help. But anyway, let's look up here. So if these are 2 and 3, we are looking for 1 and 5 in those squares. Oh yeah, of course, that's 1 and 5, isn't it? So this is 1 and 5, and this cannot be 1 and 5. Any, what, can it, no, it could be 4, 7, so no, that's no good. It could be a 9 as well, actually, I think. So. That didn't work. <coughs> Uh, let's have a look over here. If we've got one and five, we're looking then for three, four, uh, three, four, six, seven.
oh yeah look I could have seen the three now I see the threes across here like that so actually I could have seen the two and three like that uh, by seeing the three blocks down here <coughs> so I could have seen it in that way but I already knew that um, so and it hasn't helped me yet so oh well <coughs> Um, but it does mean that threes are up here like this. So um, uh, this was four and five in these squares. I've got a three there. One, I don't know. Four is over here. Four and nine. Oh, no, 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 no. Four's over here. Four. Seven, nine. No. Ah, oh, hang on a second. This is a pair of three, right? Now 7 blocks these two squares like this, so 7 is there, so this is 3, and this is 7, and we've also got 9s blocking like that, so we're going to get 9s there, so this is 3, 7, 9, and this was 4, 5, so this is 1. That puts 1s there, and 1s there. Ah! Now we get ourselves a 1 here and a 5 there. Well, um, <sighs> hmm. I'll have a quick look through, um, and see if I'm missing anything. And then I think I shall
Uh, right, I shall switch to pencil marks, I think, because I'm getting nowhere fast. So let's put in the nines there and put in the nines there. <coughs> and put in the nines there. Uh, let's work our way backwards for a change. Sevens go in those squares. Sixes go up here, there, cross there, uh, what's this? Let me do this first or before I go any further. Actually, this is uh four and five isn't it and this down here is also four and five and this is two three here um okay and remember not to put in two three in that location there <laughs> i've got to try and remember that right uh i was going backwards wasn't i five um i stopped myself right okay four then Um, right, are we there yet? Okay, I think that's it then. So just finally the nines. I think that's all I can do with pair work. Okay, so I'm going to work on this bottom shoot down here. And specifically, I'm going to work on this block here. And remember that actually this two cannot be true. I've got to remove it because this can't be two or three because of our unique rectangle in the, the uh, over here. So this can't be two or three, I know, because I know that this is a three only. Uh, let's try the threes now. Okay, so threes block across here. So threes can only be in those squares. This can't be two or three. Um, what do we know about the four? Four can go any of these squares, like so. Uh, what do we know about the seven? Seven can go in any of those squares as well. And I think we're done there. 
Okay, so let's come over here and see. Is there anything much going on over here? I think not. Quite tough over here. Two goes anywhere. Five blocks down here like this, so five is in those squares. Uh, six, we don't know anything about six. Seven blocks down here like this. And we are done. Right, okay, let's move on up then. So here we go with ones blocking like this. So we get to put ones in those squares. Two is in already. Three is in four blocks across here and up here like this. So we get four in those squares. Five is in six is in seven blocks across here and down here. So we get seven in those squares. Eight is in and nine blocks across here like this. So nine is still possible in those squares there. Um, oh, mosquitoes are back. Right across here, one is in two, three blocks across here like this. So three is in those squares. Fours in the same squares. Uh, seven blocks across like this. So seven there, eight and nine done. Okay. Now, I'm sure I worked out a unique rectangle up here before, but I can't remember what it was. <laughs> I actually can't remember what it was. I'm sure I, I saw a unique rectangle somewhere, and I seem to have forgotten it. Oh, well, never mind. Uh, one is up here, two blocks across here like this. So we've got twos in those squares, three four blocks up here like this so four available there five blocks up there like this so five is there six blocks across here six in those squares and nine blocks across here and so nine still possible like that Well, um, this block is done, isn't it? Three, seven, nine, four, five. This block is done, and so we've got one, two, four, and five. Uh, one, two, four, five, four numbers in four squares. So this two is not going to be true, right? One, two, four, five, and four, five here. That two cannot be true, so we can delete it and we can place our 2 in that square and then we can get a 6 in that square and we can get a 6 here and that will give us a 9 in that square and a 3 here, 7 there and a 9 there so that's a good way forward let's get rid of the 9's another one to get rid of there oops, hit the wrong key Uh, right now uh, the only digit left for this row is a three that has 
has to be a 3 and that puts the 3 into this square and this square and it gives a 2 there and a 2 here and a 3 there um, this would be a 3 and let's tidy up a bit in a moment one goes there one is here one is there five is there five is here four is there five is in this square here now we've got a one here that must be two uh, we've got two and five this is four then and this would be a one let's get rid of those ones get rid of that there okay uh, so the last we're looking here for a seven see that and the missing digit here is a four uh, missing digit down at the bottom here is a six so we'll get rid of the sixes there and uh, what are we left with two four seven let's see we've got two already so let's get rid of that and that gives us four and seven there we've got to get rid of these threes Four nine four nine. That looks okay. Four six seven. Okay, that's all right. Seven nine. Uh, right, looking much easier now, I guess. Um, what do we have down here? We've got three numbers, so the two means that this, in fact, will be a seven, and this will be a six. Get rid of the sixes there, and place a six here, and the four there. Gives us a nine, four, seven, nine, two, seven. We've got seven here, so this is our four. Seven must be in that square. We've got here four here, so this is our five. This is our four. Two goes here. Um, the last digit here is a 9 and to finish here we're looking for a 5 so that's our Los Angeles Times uh, expert level puzzle for Monday thank you uh, see you another time bye bye